Hi, I am Jonathan Bardzik and welcome to my kitchen. By the end of May, I am desperate for a ripe tomato, cut in big chunks and tossed with lots of fresh basil from my garden. But the tomatoes that I get at the farm market right now, grown with the help of a little bit of cover, just aren't quite as sweet and juicy as they will be at the peak of July. So I've come up with a trick for getting that great tomato flavor into my salad by making a tomato vinaigrette. To do it, I'm gonna use a trick that I learned from a Spanish tapas, pan con tomate, literally toasted bread spread with tomato pulp. So to make the tomato pulp for the vinaigrette, I'm gonna take my tomato, cut it in half, grab a bowl and my box grater, and grate my tomato down, creating a nice smooth tomato pulp. That tough skin of the tomato is gonna to keep me from hurting my hands on the box grater. I've got my pulp. We're gonna add lots of fresh basil. Add that into our bowl. Now for a clove of garlic. I'm gonna mince it and mash it into a fine paste sprinkled with some coarse salt. The sharp edges of the coarse salt crystals are gonna help quickly shred this down into a nice smooth paste using the flat edge of my knife. Add that to the bowl with the basil and tomato. Now for some fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of mustard, and a bold red wine vinegar. About a third of a cup, measure carefully. Don't worry about it, it's just cooking. So now for the real magic of a vinaigrette, and that is making an emulsion. An emulsion is when you take two liquids that don't particularly like each other and you force them to hang out for a little bit. And we're gonna do that by drizzling oil into the vinegar while whisking, breaking the vinegar up into tiny little droplets and coating them with the oil. And it'll happen just like this. The classic ratio for a vinaigrette is one quarter vinegar to three quarters oil. I find that's a little flat and fatty for my taste buds, so I usually use one-third vinegar to two-thirds oil. Why go through the trouble of all the whisking? Well, we love the flavor balance of fats and acids, but we don't like the feeling of acidic liquids hitting our tongues. Think about biting into a lemon. So by breaking the vinegar into tiny droplets and coating it with the oil, we get that beautiful soft buttery mouthfeel of the oil with the burst of vinegar from inside. Now we're ready to dress our fresh greens. With the tomato vinaigrette, I found that it tastes better using something light and mild like fresh masculine or baby spinach. Save that bold baby arugula for another vinaigrette. Put a little bit of this over our greens. Grab some tongs. Toss it through. The smell is amazing. Bright, vinegary, little sweetness from the tomatoes. Mm. I am ready to take a bite. Enjoy. Mm. Delicious.